Thank you for choosing the Q-Labs Electrometer, made for both healthcare professional and self-test use. Let's begin by identifying a few components on the Q-Labs Electrometer. In the front, we have an LCD screen, the power button, the left and right arrow, the OK button, and the test strip guide where the test strip will be inserted during testing. On the back of the electrometer, we have the battery cover, the battery cover screw, and the battery cover release. At the top, you will find the power supply jack and the data port. Before using the Q-Labs monitoring system, you will need the following. Some of these items are not included in this package. The Q-Labs PTINR test strip, a power supply, or four AA batteries, alcohol wipes, gauze, and band-aid, a lancet device, and a puncture-proof container for disposing of sharps or biohazardous materials. The Q-Labs PTINR monitoring system is intended for in vitro diagnostics use only. Before using this system to test PT and INR, consult the user's manual be advised that current patient health status may cause inaccurate or unexpected test results. It is important to take certain health factors into consideration when interpreting the test results and deciding on a course of action for your patients. Failure to do so may lead to an incorrect interpretation of the PTINR result. Self-testing users should discuss their test results with their health care provider. When the Q-Labs electrometer is initially powered on, it will beep and automatically enter the setup mode. In the setup mode, you can change the Q-Labs electrometer settings or press the OK button to bypass the setup menu to reach the home screen. You will notice a grid on the lower portion of the LCD screen that will indicate which buttons will coincide with functions that will change as you walk through the interface. For example, on this screen, the left arrow will enter the settings menu. The right arrow will recall stored test results in the memory. The OK button will display the version of the firmware. And the power button will turn off the electrometer. If you wish to enter the setup mode, simply press the left button from the home screen. Once in the setup mode, use the left and right arrows to decrease or increase the values of the highlighted field. To select the next changeable field, press the power button. When all settings are acceptable, press the OK button to confirm settings. In the setup mode, you can change the date, time, and target range settings on the Q-Labs electrometer. The target range feature is used to alert the user when the INR results are out of range. To activate or disable this feature, highlight the target field and use the plus and minus or right and left buttons to switch between on or off. If the power supply to the electrometer is disconnected or if the batteries run out, the date, time, and target range settings will be lost and will need to be re-entered. Press the next button to highlight the next field and change the lower INR limit to the desired settings. Press the next button to highlight the next field and change the higher INR limit to the desired settings. When all settings are acceptable, press the OK button to confirm settings. If the Q-Labs electrometer is left idle for about 5 minutes, the unit will turn off automatically and enter standby mode. When the Q-Labs electrometer is in standby mode, you can power on the monitor by pressing the power button or insert a fresh test strip if you are ready to perform a test.
When performing a test, the Q-Labs electrometer should be operated on a level surface that is free of vibration. Testing on an uneven or unstable surface may cause inaccurate results. Insert a fresh test strip into the test strip guide with the PTINR logo facing right side up and the electrode leads going into the electrometer. It is very important to insert the strip the correct way. If you do not see the display to prompt you to enter a strip code, it is very likely that you inserted the strip upside down. Remove the strip, turn it over, and reinsert it. When the strip is inserted correctly, you should be able to read PTINR from left to right. When the test strip is properly inserted into the Q-Labs electrometer, the display will prompt the user to enter a 7-digit strip code which can be found on the pouch of the test strip. Once again, use the plus and minus, or right and left buttons, to increase or decrease the value of the highlighted field. Press next to select the next changeable field, and press OK to accept settings. The next screen displayed will ask to confirm the strip code entered. If this is correct, press OK. If not, Press the back button to return to the previous screen and make the necessary changes. After confirming the code, the Q-Labs electrometer will automatically heat up for the test. When ready for sample testing, the unit will beep and prompt the user to apply a blood sample. Use fresh capillary finger stick or fresh non-anticoagulated venous blood for sample testing. To obtain a finger stick sample, maximize blood circulation by briefly warming the hand in warm water or with a heating pad. Massage the finger with a downward motion several times before performing the finger stick, but be careful, squeezing the finger stick site excessively may release interstitial fluid into the blood sample which may lead to inaccurate results. Clean the area with alcohol. Allow the site of the finger stick to become completely dry. If any alcohol remains on the finger, it may cause hemolysis, which may lead to inaccurate results. When completely dry, use a lancet to obtain the blood sample. Place the hand below heart level and make sure to apply the blood sample directly on the sample well of the test strip. The blood sample must be applied to the test strip immediately after collection. Otherwise, the blood sample may begin clotting, causing inaccurate results. Be aware that plasma or whole blood samples with anticoagulation reagents are not suitable for the Q-Labs PTINR test. After the blood sample has been added, the Q-Labs electrometer will perform the test automatically. If an insufficient amount of blood has been added, the unit will continue to display the prompt to add blood sample. If this occurs, remove the test strip and start the test over with a fresh test strip. When adding a blood sample or testing, do not move or touch the Q-Labs electrometer. The unit will beep and the test results will appear on the screen along with the date and time when testing is complete. Test results are automatically stored in the Q-Labs electrometer memory. The unit can store up to 200 results, and if the memory is full, the new test result will overwrite the oldest test. When data has been acquired, press the OK button. Here, the meter will prompt the user to remove the test strip and will be ready for the next test. To review results previously tested on the Q-Labs electrometer, press the right button to enter the memo mode. The plus button will scroll through the page of results. To return to the test mode, press the return button, or to view the detailed information of a test, highlight the desired test and press the OK button. Press the menu button to delete the result currently being viewed or all the stored data.
once again, thank you for choosing the Q-Labs Electrometer and selecting one of the many products brought to you by Micropoint Biotechnologies for when you need diagnostics on demand.